Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at fitting a survival analysis regression model. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to use the survival uh, package, which is on CRAN, okay, and I'm going to use a data set called Lung, okay. Now, um, that's just sort of preliminaries there, so the key, part, the key part of the code there is uh, I've loaded up the survival package, okay. Now, this is a data set called the Lung Cancer Data Set, or Lung, okay, and it's from North Central Cancer Treatment Group, and uh, uh, it's on the it's a, a part of the su uh, survival package okay so when i load up the package uh, the survival package i'm able to access this data set okay so just let's have a look at what it looks like there just give that a second institution time status uh, age sex and so on okay it's we're specifically interested in a couple of these variables here uh, time and status and uh, sex. Okay, uh, the the time and status are uh, essentially uh, how the, the the fundamentals of building a survival model for for this data set. Okay, so, uh, we can have sex as well when we can differentiate males by females. Okay, so the other things there are well, they're not part of what we're, we need here. Okay, just actually on an ongoing basis, we're going to sort of look at males and females here. So it's one for males, two for females. So it's uh, 138 males. Actually, let's just check it if I'm right there. Yeah, and we have 90 females in the group. Okay, so what's going to happen later on is we're going to differentiate between males and females and just sort of compare and contrast. Okay, now what we're going to do here is look at a serve object or survival object so it's essentially it is essentially a little formula okay now if you go to the help file and uh, go uh, get the help file for serve you can have a quick look at what it does what it does but essentially it is a uh, formula object so it's not really legible in the sense that it's not a sort of I, I'm sort of pushing it a bit to sort of see what it looks like but it's just a formula that we use in our regression equation okay so there we go summary it's just a formula okay now so what we're going to do here is compute survival curves with serve fit okay so this is fitting a survival curve here survival model okay and uh, we're going to compute the probability of survival by sex okay so the function here is serve fit from the survival um the survival uh, package okay and what we're using it, uh, it for is to compute kaplan meyer survival estimates okay now i'm actually going to sort of uh, just sort of be very uh, targeted on actually the estimates themselves because there's such a thing as the kaplan meyer curve and that's interesting but it actually is actually worth another video a second video so and there's loads of ways of doing it like gg serve and so on okay anyway so we're just fitting the model right now. Okay, a survival object uh, using the uh, function serve. Yeah, we got that. And we got our data set long. Okay, so what we have to do here is fit the following. Okay, so this is our survival object. Okay, and it's just like what I've done up there. Okay. And my, just, uh, my computer just sort of faded there for a second. And we got our data set long. Okay. So we serve fit um, uh, um, uh, an equation, essentially, or something that's effectively an equation and a data set. Okay. This is very actually like uh, uh, general, uh, sorry, l uh, the straightforward usual linear models that you learn when you're starting out in statistics. The same sort of approach. Okay. A little bit more complicated with the serve object, but not that much more complicated. So let's print out our model. There we have it there. We have 138 males. Uh, we have 112 events and so on. Um, that's interesting enough, actually. But this is it. Well, what we're going to do is actually like uh, really get to grips of it here. And what we'll do here is fit a summary because usually summary is the most interesting um, output. Okay, so. So we have um, 138, so by the way, it's broken up into males and females, okay? So down here, we have all the males first, okay? And then we have all the females, okay? So, and so I'll just sort of go back up to the top here, okay? And we have the time, okay? 
And essentially, what happens from time to time, okay? So time period 11, a uh, number of events, and essentially the uh, n risk. The, what that is a actually I have it written down here. N risk is the number of objects at risk at time t. So these are essentially what the outputs are: the total number of objects in the curve, the time point on the curve, and the number of uh, subjects at risk. And then the number of events that occurred at time t. Okay, it's a bit grim actually. So essentially, what's happened here is. Uh, at time 11, okay, we have 138 people at the start, and what happens here? Uh, 138 males and three pass away, okay? So, essentially, what it's saying is here that the probability of survival by time equals 10, or time 11, or 11 days, is 97% for males, okay? And we have a sort of confidence interval there at the side as well, okay? The confidence interval is probably just a little bit too complicated to explain here. And so on. At time 12, uh, uh, somebody else passes away. Okay, so we start the day with 135 people and we end the day with 134 people. Bish, that, uh, it sounds actually quite morbid, actually, uh, but actually, this is what this is about, mostly. Uh, or this is where it came from, uh, th this sort of analysis. Okay, and so on and so forth, right? So the probability of being alive uh, if for the people in the co. Uh, given your situation, if you're in this situation, is your probability of being alive is still 95%. And then it goes down a bit. Okay, so your long term, so it's like, let's just go down to one year. Okay, so around here. So that there's, after one year, so uh, this is close enough that there's 36 people still alive after one year. So that's about 33% of the original group. Okay. So that's sort of what they're sort of saying here. For males with advanced lung cancer, your probability of being alive within the year, according to this estimate, is about thirty-three percent. Now, that again, very simple model. Let's not uh, let's not sort of uh, apply this to the real world. In the real world, you'd be a bit more things would be a bit more complicated than how I'm uh, projecting it here. Okay, and um, what what we have there is the same. So it goes on like that, and so on. Okay, now the uh, females is something very similar, and we see that roughly about fifty percent chance for females. Okay, surviving within a year. Okay, so that's it, really. That's how, um, there's a, again. I'm being slightly simplistic. Okay. Uh, sorry, the number censored as well, okay, the, no, the number of people censored who left the survey. So that's actually an important thing about survival analysis, is that it is down here actually. How many have left the survey due to various reasons, okay. So that might be a little bit more complicated because you might sort of, you might not, uh, censoring is a, a very important uh, aspect of the uh, survival analysis, people who survive to the end of the study or information is not available for some reason and so on, okay? So, but that's, again, that's more so to do with the, um, um, that's more to do with the actual theory behind survival analysis. And again, really, my key outcome here is just actually how to fit the curve. We'll leave it there.